We hear a lot about diversification, but the question is how much diversification should a person have? How many eggs should be put into each basket? Inside the Intelligent Investor, I found information from Benjamin Graham about diversification, and it goes into what he considers to be adequate, but not excessive, levels of spreading your wealth. For starters, he talks about how you should not have all your money in one asset class. While reading in the book, he was primarily talking about securities like stocks and bonds. However, as my side note, I'll mention that real estate, some commodities, and other investments of this nature would also be reasonable additional ways to spread your wealth, but that wasn't the main focus of the book. Continuing with stocks and bonds, the split between the two depends mostly on your age and level of risk that you can take on. I go into this in more details in other videos, but in general, as a very quick point, Benjamin Graham thinks that the younger and more risk you can take on, the more stock you want, and the less risk you can take on, the more bonds you would want. So let's say we're in our 20s or 30s, and assuming that we have a 75 to 25 split between the stocks and bonds, that's our initial level of diversification. From that, we can go deeper into the percentages for the diversification in each of those asset classes. This is Benjamin Graham's take on the individual securities per asset class. He considers a range of 10 to 30 individual stocks to be adequate but not excessive. And he notes that these individual picks should be spread across multiple industries to not be overexposed in one area, and that means putting possibly between industrials, technology, healthcare, and so on. And this is the same principle for the 25 percentile pie if we're using the split ratio. You might also wonder about ETFs and index strategies. Would this be considered excessive? This was brought up as a footnote since this wasn't talked about when it was first written in 1949. The footnote said that ETFs and index strategies are wonderful for new investors who don't have a lot of experience and having industry specific indexes to get exposure to areas where you might not have a lot of knowledge about is an easy way to not be overwhelmed when trying to spread out your wealth. I have a three part series which goes really into depth on the teachings of Benjamin Graham and the Intelligent Investor and Security Analysis on my channel. This is just a bite sized piece of the many lessons and opinions being expressed with my review and opinions as well. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe and hit the like button to see more investing content.